Hello and welcome back. We are on episode 17 of the podcast. We are live from Detroit and we're here to talk to you about the effects of cannabis topicals. I'm Jen. And I am Earl and this is the podcast episode 17. I know. We are getting up there. This is exciting. It is. Uh, We are here to take uh, different cannabis topics about cannabis products, um, about cannabis um, itself. And we go out, we study that topic. And we talk about the topic so we can have a well-balanced understanding Mm -hmm. about cannabis and cannabis topics. Yep, so we take a new topic every week. We talk about advocacy, science, a lot of history. Some some do-yourself. Yep, a little Um, bit about the business. Some business stuff. Uh, We get into, man, are we missing something? Topics of politics. Science! Science. Science is the big thing. Science is a big thing. Every I feel like every episode has some science in it. Yeah, I do. I do. I do. I feel like that's that's very, very important. Mm-hmm. And we get into just, like you said, just a little bit of politics. Yeah, just a little bit of politics. We have a lot to cover today. We do. I'm excited. Let's go right into it. I'm going to go first with my um, news story. News story? Because I love my Nug News story today. And by the way, our Nug News is sponsored by TiggityApp.com. Tiggity um, is going to be the first app where you can journal how cannabis and cannabis products affect you. Yep. And you can also share that journal, but also find products mm-hmm. based upon the desired effect that you want. Yep. So go to Tiggity App, T-I-G-G-I-T-Y, app.com, and put your email in. You could be one of the first users mm-hmm. to actually use the app, and hopefully it launches by April 20th. That yep. is the goal. No that pun is the goal. intended. A little bit of a pun. On to Nug News. Nug News. Jen's got a hot one. Okay. Seth Rogen. Have you heard about this? He is launching a new weed brand, because of course he is, called Houseplant. Really? He's launching it in British Columbia with his partner. I can't remember his partner's name, but read the article. It's in there. And uh, they're doing Houseplant Sativa, Houseplant Indica, and Houseplant Hybrid. Those are going to be their brands they start. And it all is just called Houseplant? (laughs) Wow. Who's it? Seth Rogen. Who's that? He is a, he has, <laughs> he's a comedian. He's a white comedian. He's in a lot of movies. Um, so he was in, what's the <clears> one <throat> with the fraternity? You know, you were watching the girl one? Oh. I think that's him. Is that the main character guy? I think so. Is that so. his name? Yeah. Okay, I know his fa- uh, I think was, that's him. Okay, 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 okay. That's uh, cool. He's in a lot of stuff, yeah. He's uh, Pineapple Express. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. So he played a lot of pot, a pot movies. Yeah, so every okay. movie he's in, he's related, and he's a stoner in it in some aspect. Uh, and it's like a plot point. So it kind of makes sense it. that he's doing it. it. So I thought that was a lot of fun. I so a lot of celebrities can kind of do some branding mm-hmm. and all that jazz. Yeah. If you're going to do some branding, celebrities also do some social justice advocacy as well okay be about your business don't just come in here and make some money come yeah. on come in here and also help the movement yes yeah i would agree cool that's a good story good story. yeah that was a fun one um so i'm gonna talk about one main topic and then we're gonna blaze through a perfect bunch of different ones i like that? that so the first one we'll talk about is the michigan commission all right we talked about this before mm-hmm. um you following the show it's about driving while high okay so the michigan there was a commission a michigan uh commission the state should uh the state should not set driving limit of marijuana. That was the outcome of this commission. Okay. So Governor Snyder had, before he left, wanted to um, have a commission where people would go and study the effects of cannabis and see if there was a line on how we can measure, all right, well, this is, if you pass this a point, um, you are too impaired to drive. So kind of like the alcohol limit of being 0.08%. Yes. They're trying to find the marijuana limit. Right. And they're okay. trying to find this numerical number that just doesn't exist. I was going to say, because what affects you is going to be different than me. Exactly. There's not like a percentage. Colorado is trying to do that. They're trying yes. to get people to volunteer to drive high to study yeah. them. Yeah. Well, it, and, and that's, it's, it's, I don't think it's ever going to, I think cops are going to have to do cop work. Yes. You're going to have to be able to see if someone is at driving recklessly mm-hmm. Pull them over, have a conversation, there's sobriety tests, there's, and then exactly. you can determine if the person is impaired or not. Mm-hmm. I don't think you have to have this numerical number, because when you do that, it's just... It's, it's setting a scary precedent, because yes. I could be over the limit just because I am a heavy smoker, yeah. and I got up in the morning and I went to work, and I got exactly. pulled over, and they decided to test me, and I'm over the limit yeah. because I'm a heavy smoker. Yeah, I agree. So, I I, don't, I mean, I, I just think this was, uh, just to see a logical response. I like that. That's cool. To 
um, how th we are putting together marijuana policies yeah. in the state of Michigan. It's nice. So I, I think that, I mean, we get to a little bit of politics. A lot of politics we talk about just feel like, man, what is you talking about? But this is just like, it's yeah. just common. It just, it it just makes, makes sense. sense, right? I agree. So that's cool. Applaud. Yeah, good job. Good job. Good job, good job so Michigan. There's going to be cool. none of that, all right? But if you are driving reckless, you still could get a DUI. But that's, or, yeah, I was going to yeah. say, and that's kind of like with everything. Yeah. You know, just drive safe and. I agree. I, yeah. I agree. And I think what you said earlier was uh, the first time we covered this story, you were just like, get out my way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Get out my way. That's what's up. All right, I'm going to blaze through a couple articles. Um, you got the links in the show notes. Um, you can read the full articles for yourself. Uh, next one is coming up, March 31st. Um, 50 unlicensed stores are going to have to shut down. Yeah. Um, which they've been, they had about two years. I was going to say, they had plenty of time to, yeah, to get, like the get their shit together. Process, the deadline kept moving, moving, and moving. Uh, but this is now seems to be it's a very time. firm yeah. March 31st. Um, so which means it probably about a um, hundred retail stores or so. Okay. Um, or provision centers. Uh, put that in perspective. At one time there was 300. Yeah. Just in Detroit. So now there will be just a, Detroit. Like now the entire state's gonna have a hundred. So there's gonna be limited access. Yeah. Um, for a little bit, but um, if you know someone who knows someone knows someone, there you go. All right. Cool. All right. Um, local crime data. Uh, shows this is from Boston 25 News. Local crime data shows recreational pot shops are good neighbors. Yes, I've heard about this. Where in places that there's pot shops, the local area actually has yeah. a decrease in crime. Holy shiznicks, Batman! Like who would have guessed? Wait a minute, because I mean that is the biggest argument is that all marijuana is coming here. No, it makes so your much area crime. Like, you, My real estate is going down. It's just like no. Listen, listen. They're trying to put fear in you so yes. that they can control you and manipulate you, okay? So don't fall for that, all right? Let the love, walk in love, not fear, okay? Yeah. Um, it's a lot more uh, beneficial towards life. But yeah, this, so this is a great article to, to, to debunk that. And even in the upcoming pre uh, presidential elections, they're going to use the same thing. They are. Crime, crime, crime. Right. But this is a great article. Actually it's proving that, that it's, it's the opposite. Not um, the White House and federal scientists are pushing the myth that marijuana is laced with fentanyl. So, yeah, there was this myth, um, again, fear, uh, trying yeah. to control people, that a lot of marijuana out here uh, that could be given out to kids at Halloween uh, could be laced with I'm sorry, I'm just not giving <laughs> just kids like, my marijuana. No, like, who's that's giving mine. them a $30? Uh, that's mine. Yes, like, then give them a $30 chicken, a uh, $30 If uh, I gave your child bar. that, please tell me because I want it back. Yeah. Or you got to pay for it. So they're up to some shady stuff in the White House um, under individual one's administration. Um, so... Um, just same old, same old. Yeah. yeah. Um, another one on the same note uh, for President Individual Number One. Uh, people are lining up to grow marijuana research, um, but President Individual Number One, uh, Justice Department won't let them. Oh. Meaning that the DA was just about, well, we need more research. We need more research. Everybody, we need more research. We know more about marijuana than we do uh, pubic hairs, okay? We know enough about this, okay? Right. Uh, but we keep crying about research, but now there are cosmic institutions who are trying to do research, um, but they are slowing down the applications. So, read the story. Cool, cool, cool. Um, marijuana cup. Marijuana cup. I'm trying to blaze through this, okay? You're doing that's, a good job. That's legalization of marijuana cup. Marijuana le legalization vote canceled due to lack of support in New Jersey Senate. We talked about in the past yeah. um, that New Jersey is going to be one of the next states that have recreational. Um, no. Um, it died. Um, it's not over. Um, but read the article. It's very interesting because there's a lot of actual proponents against the bill because it actually includes social justice uh, provisions. Oh. So where it was like oh, automatic yeah, yeah. expungement. Mm -hmm. um, there was an application process that will actually include people who have been disproportionately affected by the war right. on drugs. Yes. Um, but people push back against that. Ret oh, man. Okay. It's um, just not. Medical license uh, growers in Oklahoma are, it is booming in Oklahoma. Pretty Oklahoma much in Oklahoma. Popping. Pretty much in Oklahoma um, for medical marijuana, if you have $2,500 dollars in your bank account you can get a license really it was that free there's over 1200 right now grow licenses that have been issued that's awesome their program has been up and running for nine months that's awesome put that in comparison with state of michigan we've been doing this for almost three years we're going at the end of december we got three years going on uh we have about uh less than 100 grow licenses there's over 1200 in oklahoma right now it's like a thousand retail store licenses and their market is like like the size of Detroit. Right. It's just crazy. It is. 
So yeah, Oklahoma. Who ever been? Like, I've never what? Oklahoma. I've never been to Oklahoma. I might go to Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be here sooner. All right, uh, Guam. Um, they actually are going to legalize uh, cannabis. It's actually at the governor's desk. Cool. Uh, it's going to be the first U.S. territory. Read that one. And then uh, legalizing activists push marijuana industry to uphold social responsibilities. Please read this. It is very important um, that we support businesses that are also supporting social equity and social justice um, so that businesses actually do do that. Uh, be, please be conscious of the people that you do spend your dollar with. Um, because if they don't care, you should not care either. Mm -hmm. um, and on that same note, men hold 93% of Canadian cannabis boardroom positions. I men like hold 93% of that. Um, so talking about social equity, it's not just color. Um, this is men and women as well. Mm -hmm. uh, women should have an opportunity as well to have a seat at the table and make a difference in this industry. Yeah. Um, man, actually, probably be a lot better if a lot more women were actually... Women are pretty smart. Yeah. I know um, from last experience. thing, man, want it, okay? Help the DA here, people. Wanted the DEA, someone they need someone to burn 1,000 pounds per hour. Okay, they have a yes, they have a post, they have a post right now. They're in need, they need an incinerator or something that can control and burn up to 1,000 pounds a week. This is what we're spending our time on. This is what you're spending your money and resources on. Who could burn? I know some people I who can so smoke. A I one, like, I know people who can months. smoke it. Just pass it out, man. Just pass it out. Give it to a legalized state. Jeez. All right. Give it to Oklahoma. That was the Nug News. Uh, please read the links as now I'm talking slower. All right. Are you ready for the main topic? We are ready for the main topic. Cannabis topicals. We are going to talk about this topic was, I thought when we talked about the topic, you know, we were talking about, okay, we got a lot of questions about topicals. This is going to be a topic. Uh, cool. Topicals. Simple. All right. Damn. Oh my god, I know. When I was researching, I was like, shit. Like, I was still researching this morning. Me too, yep. And like up to like a couple hours ago. I was like, I need to cut this. Yeah, it was just like, <laughs> okay, man, we have a lot to cover. We're going to try to get yes. through this. Um, please bear with us. Uh, but yes, we're going to talk about the effects of cannabis topicals. And we got some topicals to show you guys too, yes. so it'll we be fun. we got some topicals, we got some testimonials, we got a whole bunch of things. Let's start off with, um, I guess, kind of cannabis topic 101, all right? Um... What are cannabis topicals? I was going to say topicals. So it's something you rub it on your skin, like lotion, uh, cream. Sauce. Uh, like bath bombs almost. Uh, so yeah. things yeah. that you put externally. Yes. And um, there's an image them. for that too, Natalie, if you Forms want to Forms of topicals that can't be. Forms of topicals. So lotions, creams, bath salts, um, bombs. Bombs. There we go. That was the word. Bombs. <laughs> Chapstick. Ch is that, is that is that a bomb? Is bomb is like yeah. like yeah like yeah. yeah. I know people had like lip bombs back in the day. Yeah. All right, cool. So you can infuse any of that with cannabis, and then therefore it becomes a cannabis topical. Okay, yes. so that's what we're talking about. Um, I think the next thing is to talk about kind of uh, how does marijuana infuse topicals actually work? Yes. And we're gonna do kind of like literally a sixty second uh, review on this. Please check out episode number six in our cannabis therapy series about how um, cannabis affects the body. We actually get yes. a lot into the endocannabinoid system. Um, but pretty much real quick, uh, we have an endocannabinoid system. Um, that's one of 12 systems in our body that goes along with the cardiovascular system, the uh, skeletal system, um, the endocrine system. Look at that. I get an A from Natalie. Endocrine. I'm so proud. All right, cray cray. Um, um, so the endocannabinoid system is 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 responsible for bringing our body back to balance mm -hmm. um, between all those systems, okay? Um, and, for example, use the example, um, okay, you get off balance because you have um, maybe there's a lot of activity um, within your brain. So then you have seizures. So using cannabis can help bring that activity down, bring right. it back to balance, and that's how it actually helps you not have seizures. Um, so that's kind of how it works. So even though we produce endocannabinoids, um, we can also except outside cannabinoids. Right. And those outside cannabinoids from a plant we call photocannabinoids. Yes. So if we have an endocannabinoid deficiency. So if we have a low um, level of endocannabinoids, which means we're kind of off balance, um, we can increase our cannabinoids by receiving outside cannabinoids. And those from plants are called photocannabinoids. Okay. And those are actually found in cannabis. Yes. Um, it's also important to know we have receptors. That's how we can kind of bind. Um, she didn't like my first analogy last week, um, but the uh, analogy is we have receptors all over our body and our skin, um, and that's how outside cannabinoids 
signal actually they yes. plug into those receptors and that's how we communicate mm -hmm. um so so the ones that we're gonna be talking about are the cb2 Ah, receptors because yeah. those yeah. are on the external yes. organs yeah so yes. you can have cb2 receptors on the inside of your body did you know that no. but it's on the outside of your organs and your skin is technically an organ so that's why we have them on the outside that's it uh, there's one of the 12 systems the skin system is uh the skin system is one of the organs it's an organ oh. Oh. is it really yeah that's your skin isn't it's the largest organ on your body i knew that I might have made that up. <laughs> that, no, I know it, it's an organ, yeah. though, and so that's why it has CB2 receptors, and then that's what actually... I mean, it makes sense, because it's amazing. I mean, you got to cut, and it's just like, it starts to heal itself and mm -hmm. repair itself, and it's just like, you're not telling it, it to do anything. Right. It just has this system. Yep. God is... Man, what a creator. All right. Um, going on to... All right, so how THC and CBD work together. Yes. Right? So we understand how... It kind of works with the body. Um, now, how, that bite graphic. Um, and that, yes, that bite graphic it actually kind of talks about the entourage effect, okay? And the analogy is that the sum of its parts is not greater than the whole, okay? The whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Mm -hmm. You take a bicycle, there's over 800 parts. You could break that apart. But if you just take the handlebars, you know, imagine giving your child for Christmas, you know, I'm going to get you a bike. And then, you know, it opens up the gift and it's like handlebars. And it's just like... That's it. What am I doing with this? You know what right. I mean? But when you put those handlebars with all the other parts, now she's, you know, a pretty happy girl. Right. Now, now she's gonna go around the neighborhood and we can wing. actually ride the bike. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotta did, get the bell. Did, did you have a bike? Did you did you have a little uh, You absolutely the, uh, had to have line? that? Did you have oh a bike? Was it pink? Of course it was pink. Oh my goodness. Of course it was pink. <laughs> oh my goodness. I gotta see some pictures of that. All right. So I'm sure there So are. that's how it works. So <laughs> so when we talk about T A C and C B D, um, it also works as an entourage effect. And when I say entourage effect, um, THC and CBD are cannabinoids mm -hmm. that are found within a plant, but there's also there's a hundred different cannabinoids, hundreds. Uh, there's also terpenes, um, and there's also flavonoids. So all that that all that is part of the 800 pieces of that bike, and when they all are together, you get the full effect. Um, when you isolate them, they're not as good. Mm -hmm. so, exactly, you so have the full thing. So that's how THC and CBD work with it, um, and we're gonna move on to kind of. Why would you need topicals? Pretty yeah, much. Yes, like what right? are the usage of them? Um, I think uh, so. Some of the conditions and system or symptoms, if you have this, if you have arthritis, um, if you have chronic pain from it could be a sports injury, you have inflammation, um, if you have neuropathic pain, um, that is huge. A lot of a lot of um, medicines and a lot of therapies now are not really helping. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have really pinched nerves and a lot of nerve right. pain. Right. So if you have that, they're just kind of like you're stuck with it. Right. Um, burns. Major okay. burns. I didn't know about burns. That's cool. Um, severe burns. Uh, skin irritation. Uh, skin. Skin irritation. That's skin and irritation together. Um, skin infections. Okay. Skin cancers. You have anything else? Um, you forgot fibromyalgia. I didn't want to say that out loud because I didn't know if I was going to pronounce it. Thank you. I got you. <laughs> Yeah, fibromyalgia. So that's like the constant page, uh, uh, pain that you feel. Um, yeah. Lady Gaga has that. So uh -huh. if you've heard of it before, that's what Lady Gaga has. Is it in your joints? Uh, it's just constant pain all over your body. Oh, wow. They don't really know what causes it, but it's uh -huh. just you're always in pain. There's really nothing that helps it. Okay. Except, of course, cannabis. Yeah, so if you have in this and you're in that position... You know, we're going to give more information, but think of this is why we're talking about cannabis topics. And I also saw that it helps with headaches. Yes, are finding migraines. that topicals are helping with headaches, surprisingly. And let's see, what else did I have? P-S-O-R-I-A-S-I-S. Psoriasis. Psoriasis. I was going to say that, too. I'm really good at pronouncing words That's today. So, yeah, so those, you know, if you have, I mean, keep paying attention because that is kind of what this is for, okay? We're going to kind of talk about the benefits later mm -hmm. uh, and how this actually uh, can can relieve you, but this is who we're trying to um, talk to about. Yes. Even if you're not about, you know, using smoking cannabis, topicals could be. Um, a they really, could be a really, solution. Really, yeah. Huge I mean, thing. so like think about if you use icy hot all the time. Yeah. Um, this is a replacement for icy hot. That's what's up. Almost. You no, know, I like agree. The, we have a topical that we're going to show today that I use for pain relief all yeah. the time. That's what's up. Um, John has pinched nerves in his back. He's got a really messed up back and herniated discs, and he uses this, and it works better for him than icy hot ever does. That's what's up. And we're going to do, um, so now we're going to do some testimonials too. Um, but like say, okay, we talked to you right now. You have arthritis. You're interested in topicals um, that are infused by cannabis. Where do you get it from? How do you find it? Right. So now you're in a pursuit of looking for this. Um, and if you're, if you're in a legalized state um, or a medicinal where they have medical marijuana or recreational marijuana, there are retail stores mm -hmm. where you can acquire this. Um, or um, if you are in a state where it's medical, you can have a caregiver. You can access that, but unfortunately, man, it's still limited access. It is. 
to one of the most beneficial ways that people can actually receive relief. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why I also want to talk about do-it-yourself too. Yeah. Um, some of the do-it-yourself stuff uh, would be olive oils, coconut oils, and alcohol are some of the easiest bases. We're going to do a show at some point yeah, actually how show to how to make that. it. Um, but if you just had, you know, found some cannabis trim, um, just got that donated from someone, you put that in a crock pot with some olive oil or coconut oil or mm -hmm. even alcohol, let that cook for about eight hours um, on warm, um, and then strain that, there you go. That's what you, that's it. You know? So, like, you could do it. Yeah. And then and then when it comes to, to dosing, when you're actually using that, um, the great thing about the topicals is that they're not psychoactive. It's not, you're not going to get high, so you can, if you put too much on, it's just like putting on too much lotion. Just keep rubbing it in, you'll be perfectly fine. You're not yeah. going to get high from it. And, I, and actually, I just caught myself, because... It's not that it's not psychoactive. It's it's not impairing. You don't feel yeah the impairing. Yeah, of it. it's not it's not impairing because we still have the receptors, um, and it's going. You're still gonna have to get relief. Yeah. So in that instance, in that instance, it's psychoactive. Right. But you're not high. You can drive. Right. Exactly. You're you're totally fine. Right. So, you don't feel messed up. So so with dosing, it's not like you know if you're over consuming an edible mm -hmm. or something like that. Yeah. There's like, no right. peak point. Exactly. Um. So you kind of apply it as much as you need to, um, to get to the point. Where mm -hmm. you want to be, and there's like no, you can never like overdo it. So like if you do it and an hour later you do it again, you're you're fine. It's not going to be addictive or anything. You could just take a bath in you just could. olive oil for and hours and just soak yourself in it. No, <laughs> Valentine's Day special. No? <laughs> All right. So say you actually find some of these topicals, right? Now there's some there's some warnings we actually want to kind of yeah warn people about um, what to look for, what kind of not to look for, because not all products are the same. Mm -hmm. Um. Um, there are, so and the reason why they're not the same because right now there is no standard of labeling, right? It's, it's not like there is a um, FDA regulation right now. Right. All these topicals, um, they are actually going to come up with rules. But even if you're, you know, just in a medical state, it's just you may say this has been infused by cannabis. So you want to watch out. Uh, so you make sure you do have a clean, a safe, um, and we're going to talk about some ingredients to kind of avoid. Um, I think um, artificial ingredients yeah. and colors. You kind of want to avoid that. Yeah, there's no real reason to use it. Like, it's going to look how it's going to look. You don't need to dye it. Right. So just kind of let it be natural. I think that's the key. You just want to look for, if you can't pronounce the name that is actually on the ingredients uh, or listed in the ingredients, yeah. just I wouldn't I wouldn't use that type of thing. Right. You're kind of defeating the purpose of looking for a natural way mm -hmm. um, to get relief. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's, I mean, that kind of, you know, petroleum, fragrances, chemicals, minerals, um, all those things, Synth, uh, synthetic ingredients, hydrogenated ingredients, um, all those are counteractive right. um, to what you're trying to achieve. So you do want to read the labels and watch those um, as well. Um, and then look for, I think, natural bases. Mm -hmm. uh, cocoa butter, shea butter, extra virgin olive oil, um, and I think I said, did I said coconut oil? Coconut Co oil. Coconut oil? Coconut okay, oil. cool. Any other bases you think? No, those are the only ones I put on my skin. Yeah. <laughs> Like, you could do, like, other types of oil, but, like, you cook with that. True, 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 true. Um, and then also on some labels, you can you can see how it's processed, too. Mm -hmm. um, so if it's, you, you, you want to look for things that are whole plant. You yeah. Know, we talked about the entourage effect. Talking about the whole bicycle. Um, so things that say full spectrum. Yes. Things that say whole plant or total plant. Um, those are the topicals that you're going to receive the most bang for your buck. Right. Okay, so I think that's key. Mm -hmm. um, and then if it's quality tested, that's a plus. Um, but if again, if you if you can make it yourself, then you kind of know if it's uh, where it came from. How exactly, it's clean, all that exactly. Jazz. You you saw it all. Cool. All right. Now let's go on to discovering medical and therapeutic benefits of cannabis topicals. Yes. Ah, uh, now if we can put up the medical benefits of THC topicals, Natalie, you can pull that one up. Um, antibacterial. I did not know that it was anti. I always like thought it would be because it kind of like makes sense that it would be because yeah. it's like it's marijuana. But I never really knew that. Antiviral, anti-tumor, um, and uh, analgesic, analgesic, Anal analgesic. No, analgesic. <laughs> okay. A n a l g e s i c. I wonder if that has something to do with anal. <laughs> I don't pain reliever. Excuse me. Okay, some of the stuff we didn't Google yet. Okay. So we got uh, pain, pain reliever, reliever. anti um, antioxidant. Um, then also you can pull up the next one, Natalie. Uh, benefits of CBD topicals, anti-inflammatory pain reliever. Um, neuro neurocontroller. So there's a lot of benefits of topicals. Yeah, anti spasmodic. <laughs> <laughs> you kept skipping that. <laughs> I'll choose my words wisely. 
If you um, can see these two, so we're kind of pulling them up and they're probably going through a little fast, but if you go to g3omni.com slash resources, yes. this is on there. Yes, we have a whole handout for how cannabis uh, topicals affect you. Yeah. Thank you for that plug. Um, shameless plug, by the way. Um, now we're going to kind of talk about the top nine. Um, now, I just want to say one thing. So we said the CBD and THC, I think it's important to mm -hmm. have a whole plant. So if it's THC, if someone's advertising it as a THC topical, it doesn't make sense just isolated THC topical. Right, it you really need, doesn't. You need the whole kit and caboodle, so you yeah. want a whole plant. If it's just CBD, it's not going to be effective. There's a lot of testimonies of just CBD. It's, it's not just gonna, not going to do anything. The, but you add a little bit of THC, voila. Okay, that's like what that. happens. All right, so top nine benefits by treating or reducing conditions. I don't know. Nine benefits of cannabis topicals. You pull that slide up for us, Natalie. Um, we're going to kind of go through these nine. Which ones kind of stuck out to you that you did not know? <laughs> the one that I just keep laughing at is enhance the sexual pleasure because you can use this as lubes. So I'm glad you brought that up because we're actually going to do our show and talk. Then we're going to also do some semi-pro tips. I have my tip, my testimonial is about this. It is. Stay tuned. Okay. It's about that. Um, it provides localized pain management. Yes. So if you're eating an elbow, something like you can't really say, okay, I'm eating this, go to my knee. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like, it's the same thing with like painkillers. You can't be like, help this spot. Yeah. But like with the top coats, you just rub it on and exactly. just your knee. So knee, neck, all that jazz, um, skins, cold sores. So Head, shoulders, good for knees, that. and toes. There you go. I like that. Knees I like toes. that. Um, it keeps your skin youthful. I like that. I didn't know that, but that's cool. Yeah. I mean, it's, it makes sense. Apply a little infuse hemp lotion. You can include it in your beauty care routine. Yes. You know, black don't crack. <laughs> a little bit of hemp. I need a little help. We're going to be all that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, it fights bacteria, skin infections, um, and therapeutic massages. Um, yeah. Way to seduce women. With, you, know? you could do like the hot candle wax massages. There you go. You can infuse it with. Watch out for the future of cannabis spots. That's actually one of my oh. entrepreneur to do Don't tell them. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Trademark, TM. Looking for a partner, you know. I need, I need someone <laughs> helping me get some of this stuff done. All right. Um, that's cool. So let's go on to some smart pro tips. Yes. Good. Um, so again, you can go to g3omni.com backslash resources. Pretty much all of our slides um, are there, and we have one for the topicals. Um, please go there, download that, and this is all yours. So semi pro tips. Uh, we got a semi pro image coming up, huh? Huh? Is it looking up? good? Kinda. Kinda. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Look good. Cool. I love right. my pro tips. I like that too. Um, my tip would be, if it's not on the bottle, you can also check online for oh, ingredients. That's smart. So some companies, because there's only so much you can put on a label. Like right, especially like when you see some of these, they're so tiny. You can't yeah. you can't fit everything on yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. So um, if it wasn't lab tested, try to go to their website. Um, and a lot of those brands also put their ingredients, their processes. And don't be online. afraid to reach out. I would say. Yeah. You know, if like you really can't find it and you really want to know, just send them a message. True. 100%. And if, and if they don't answer, they don't respect your dollar, then don't bother. All right, keep it moving. All right? I like that. I like that. All right, any personal testimonies? You, you mentioned a little bit earlier. Yeah, so I really like the, and we're going to show it here. Um, I can't remember the name, so now i got to look at it. <laughs> the Miracle Salve from Esteban's. It's, like, really nice. Um, so you can use it anywhere. And, like, like I have bad knees. Okay. And I put on my knees, and I don't even notice. Wow. Um, it's just, it's really... But how long? So say you got you got the salve, you apply it on your knee, about, what do you what do you think? I would say probably about an hour at least. Wow. At least. And like it, that it, it lasts or that, that it takes? lasts? That it lasts. Oh, immediate. As soon as you put it on, you don't. Oh, wow. Immediately. As soon as it touches your skin and you're like rubbing it in, you can feel it. Like I can feel it on my fingers. That's what's up. You know? Um, and it lasts for probably about an hour. Wow. That's what's up. Like from what that. I've noticed. I usually fall asleep, but... And you said John. John I think John... Uh, John uses it. So, yeah, he's got um, herniated discs up and down his back. Wow. Um, and then... Oh, my God. I can't... He says it all the time, but I so zone out. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but he's got, he's got like, split discs and split yeah, nerves yeah, and, yeah. like, all this crazy stuff. And so, like, I put it on and he doesn't notice. Like, he can't feel part of his back. Wow. Um, so, when I put it on, but he can feel, like, pain... Um, he like doesn't notice and he's like actually able to sleep comfortably. Oh, wow. Um, usually I have to like put like a big, like, you know, like those huge icy pot patches right. on his back and now I can just use some of the salve, which right. is a lot easier. That's what's up. That was it good. It doesn't smell as bad. Yeah. Like you can't notice the smell. Like you walk around with icy hot and you're like, wow, that's icy hot. Right, but with right. the, the stuff, you don't even notice it. That's what's up. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to show some of these topicals, um, in a minute as well. Um, my testimony about, um, topicals is that. So we did a show on Valentine's Day called Fuel Your Passion. 
And um, during that show, I asked, I was like, you came? You can put coconut oil or olive oil, you know, down there and all that jazz. You said, yeah. And I was like, okay, you know, let me see. I had a little infused olive oil, nine pound hammer olive oil. And, um, you know, we having dinner and all that stuff. And, you know, I figured it's about to get to the next stage for the night, you know, doing your thing. And uh, I went ahead, went to the bathroom and just applied some olive oil infused on my wing wang. Okay, I did. And it's all good, you know. So, so I applied my wing wang. I didn't say anything. I was going to see, you know, what was going to happen, you know. I wanted, I wanted unbiased feedback. Okay. okay. I didn't want to like say something, and then it's like you have that placebo effect. Right. And it's, it's like so. Long story short, um, and it wasn't a short story, by the way. Um, if the, I was to get a Google review for my performance that night, I would have got five <laughs> stars, bro. I got five stars, and I have not even released the sequel weapon. And the secret weapon was the infused olive oil. I tell you that right now, it was. It was. It was. Which would your wife agree with you? Yes. Okay. Yes. She, <laughs> and she. I feel like that's the most important <coughs> part to me. Like I could give a shit. I meant, okay, the Google reviewer would have been her. Okay. If oh, she oh, actually was to submit okay. the review, I see. it would have been. You know, it would have been all right. It would have been all right. No, not me personally, of course. You know, I, I give myself like... ten stars. What are you talking about? You know, one minute, five stars, whatever. Wow. All right. So yeah. So that's my yeah. I I will testify that topicals really do enhance. Sexual pleasure. Because it increases, like, your sensitivity. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if it gets into the bloodstream through there as well. It and, can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do all that. Because and... think, like, sexually, I know this is terrible, but STIs, that's how they're transferred. It's because uh, you have openings to the bloodstream. Yeah, the pores and all exactly. that. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, So, yeah, it was it was a great, you know. You had a good was, Valentine's. My, yeah, it was my secret weapon. Secret weapon. So, hey, pro tip. <laughs> <laughs> Semi-pro. Okay. Five star. All-star team. Tip. All right, cool. You can move on. Your wife's at home like shaking her head now. <laughs> I don't even think she watches this show. <laughs> I'm actually using that against her. I have that. You know, there's gonna be some argument. You never pay attention to me or something like that, right? <laughs> you don't watch my show. Oh, I'm holding it. I'm holding it. I'm just waiting for one moment. She come at me. I'm gonna be like, ammo. You don't ever watch my show. You don't love me. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it. Watch. Okay. Watch. She probably watching right now. This one, yeah. And that's just how I get on the couch. All right, so <laughs> we can move on to some questions and answers, yes. maybe? Yes. While okay. I'm pulling these up, do you want to start um, showing some of those? Sweet. So as she pulls up questions and answers, I am going to do a little show and talk. Uh, all right. I was going to say, don't fall <laughs> Oh, yeah, true. true. <laughs> so this, so this here, here is, is the salve. salve. So this, so this is, is the salve that I was talking about that we this use. Is, you can, oh, man, I wish we had smell of it. I know it smells. So it smells kind of like like beeswax, if you will. Yeah. Um, it smells really, really nice. It's super. And this clean is made too. by Esteban's Honey. Did you see that? Definitely recommend. Uh, label. So he makes um mm -hmm. honey too, which yeah. is why I think it's funny he has these caps. Yeah. That Miracle say do salad. not eat. Yes. Oh, he said do it. Yeah, because it actually smells like because that, that. Yeah, I thought you could eat it. Lavender. I thought you could eat it. Yeah. So yeah, don't eat For that. For sure. That's cool. Uh, we got some Primo Buddy. All right, from my friends over at Primo Buddy. Natalie, I understand what you're saying. Why does it look backwards? Because no, it's fine. Yeah, you're good now, yeah. Because <laughs> so I'm like, this does look backwards. All right, so this is uh, olive, uh, coconut oil. So this is coconut oil that can be used as a saw. As you can see, this is green and it's thick. And you can smell this too. It smells good. So this is a little bit thicker. Oh. As you can see, I'm hitting that right there. Hi, Janice. That Thanks for watching. That is thick. Okay, so you can take this and you can apply it right on your skin. And you can see it's not, uh, it's oily, but it doesn't turn your skin green. Okay, I'm about to have the most non painful thumb ever. <laughs> right there. Do you need a hand? No, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, next thing I'm going to show, uh, we talked about skin cancers. So this right here is Simpson Oil, still by Primo Buddy. Um, this right here, as you can see, no is a little bit tarred. This is tar right here. Um, it is a little oily, but as you can see, I'm gonna apply some of this on my thumb. It does leave a little um, wow green. Which one is that? Simpson oil. The Simpson oil. Yeah. Okay. So so this is what Rick Simpson oil. He had skin cancer. He applied this on um, the area where he had cancer, and uh, within I believe it was within a year. Um, that tumor and that gone. skin infection was gone. So marijuana is magical. Yeah. So, but this is uh, again, this is again maybe nighttime. 
Um, if you want to apply that, if, unless you like that look, um, you can have that green. That's going to be a new style. Yeah. My the thumb. 20s. Wow. I will lick my thumb, but I'm not. All right. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> All right, so this is olive oil. Okay, I can let you use my hand. Cool. Oh, God. So see, this is more liquidy, olive oil. Oh, wow, yeah. You see that? So you can apply a little bit of olive oil. I should have dumped a whole jar. <laughs> I was super nervous. <laughs> Look at That's that. I put a whole bunch on there. It does have a little bit of a color, but I'm also, like, super, super white, so. No, it's all good. So I, I've even I heard like people moist, using this as uh, sunscreen, too. Maybe not olive, the olive oil. oil. I was gonna say because olive maybe. oil, I think, would definitely make you burn. So maybe through like a balm or through uh, coconut yeah. oil. So oh, it kind of like hair. rubs in nice though. You can't really yeah. tell anymore. Yeah, it's on my fingers. It's definitely it, it like spreads. It's all good. Rub all over my body. We're all good. This room all right. smells. All right, and then the uh, last thing is the CBD oil cure. So oh, this is, is a just spray. CBD? Oh. This is a spray. Now it says total plant right oh, here. Oh, cool. It says total plant. Um. I can't really give you any feedback on my own. But Dietary, so, so how, would you you just like spray it on you? Yeah, well, this is actually a spray. They're kind of saying it's an oral spray, but oh. you can also comply as a topical. Okay. Yeah, so you just, it's kind of like a, we're done with the show and tell. It's going back <laughs> on to, I feel like I got some oil all within my mouth now. Uh, but yeah, it's a spray you just put underneath your mouth. Okay, it's and you haven't used it yet? No, no. I was going to say, does it like get you high? I don't know. Because it says CBD, but it's total plant, so... Yeah, and that's... Yeah, so we talked about... If it just says CBD, if they're using it as a marketing tool, it does say total plant, which means, okay, it must be other cannabinoids or other flavonoids within yeah. there as well, but I don't know. Um, but this is uh, something I do offer to my patients um, as a caregiver, um, if they do so choose. And as soon as that Tiggity app is up and going... We'll have um, more feedback. They'll have feedback, because that way the patients can actually journal... Um, mm -hmm. how that CBD oil affected them, and then they can rate the different effects from a scale, um, and I can then give better recommendations for other yeah. people. So, cool. That's All right. Great. Now, there's show and talk. I like the show and talk. Um, was there any questions? No? There were no questions, no. No. Oh, I, mean, I know. Hopefully, we're just being so informative. We are so informative. You know, that... You we're know, so smart. We're good. Key takeaways? Key takeaways. Um, so, my key takeaways were, I'm, I actually have never known anyone to have sex using any kind of cannabis related topicals so that's cool that it actually works because you read about it online yeah but you never know if it really works so it's cool that there's like a real person i was daring enough to try and that's what she took from this whole episode all that's those, everything that we've all learned. those notes yeah. yep <laughs> that's, that's my key takeaway <laughs> uh, um i think mine would be all the benefits um but i think also i, I would have thought okay maybe just a tac or something like that or cbd was cool Mm -hmm. as a topical um but it's the whole plant still yeah. still plays and a that's part. kind of like that's like a whole theme that yeah. we're seeing is everything that has a benefit from cannabis like the whole plant is what you really want right which was why it was so hard for people to actually try to um patent mm -hmm. certain because you really can't patent a plant right but you try to patent some of the extractions of the compounds and if you just extract one compound it's just it's you just got same. handlebars right mm -hmm. it's not yeah. the whole bicycle so cool um we're gonna go on there we did a show and talk Ah oh, man, we we, met, we got everything. We got it all done. Yeah, we got it all done. So we got the thanks to everyone. But yes. before we go into thanks, I do want to say we already know our topic for next week. So to join us and pre-think of questions, how to smoke concentrates. Yes. Uh, it's gonna be a good one. It is. It is. We're gonna talk about um how to smoke them. Mm -hmm. We're gonna talk about different forms of concentrates. Yes. Um, measurements as well. Um, especially if you're going to a dispensary for the first time or trying to use it. You want to be familiar with the lingo? Yes. As far as um, the weights and also what the coming prices are as well. Mm -hmm. So send us your questions and we'll get to them in the next show. Yes. And please, um, YouTube, uh, we didn't talk about it earlier, yeah. um, but uh, check out any past episodes on our YouTube channel. Um, G3 Cannabis Therapy has a YouTube channel. Wani has a YouTube channel. Um, and Facebook. And Facebook. Watch it live on Facebook and Instagram. And Sorry, Instagram. Instagram, because this is new to us. We're doing Instagram. I know. Stuff. All right, cool. I like it. So thank you. So thank you. Yes. Um, so I want to thank Earl Aww. for always coming to the show. See, it's easy for me because it's in my office, but he always makes the time to come to the office every week and do this. And he always has so much more research done than me. So thank you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate thank that. Thank you. And I want to thank Jen for being such a great co-host and uh, keeping things in order and keeping being a great project manager. Uh, for all this, because uh, crack the whip, yeah, yeah. Earl, I need your notes. <laughs> I need your notes. <laughs> Sorry, 
Um, so thank you to Natalie for always switching for us and being a great director. Thank you, Jared, for helping us set up. Um, thank you, Mike, for being short and stout. Thank you, Terry. I always like the long silence yeah, after Terry. You know, just give a moment of peace. Yeah. Uh, Tamara, thank you for making us look thank so you, good. Thank you, Tamara. Um, you do a lot of work behind the scenes as well. Uh, thank you, Leo, uh, for being such a Tigers fan. I know you're probably going to open in day. And uh, thank you, Brian, who probably does not watch this show because he should be doing some work in the grill. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> and that rhymed. Um, so, uh, yeah. And I thank you, Christina, for always posting the articles. And she also posted how to correctly pronounce the A word, but I forgot. Oh, the anal, 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 anal. Yeah. yeah. So okay. thank you, Christina. Thank she, you, uh, Christina. yeah, she explained that for us in the comments. And thank you, Facebook, for watching. Uh, thank you, Instagram, for watching as well. Please share us with a friend yes. um, or family. Um, and because cannabis is all love, share with the enemy uh, because they may turn around and be one of your best friends. That's true. Just made that up. It could happen. But it really could. But thank you guys. We will see you next week where we show you how to smoke some concentrates. Peace out.